Okay, so here we go. Uh, just a quick overview on homework five. Uh, let's see what it's asking for. So, hemming distance, right? So it's saying, given two strings s and t of equal length, the hemming distance between s and t is the number of corresp corresponding symbols that differ in s and t. So, in essence, there's two strings, and you have to find how many symbols are different right that's 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 it so uh, to understand this problem you need to first uh, just make up two strings right assuming that we have string uh, string one and its value is uh, a a uh, t g c uh, d or something like that and then we have string two with uh, T, C, A, G, C, D. So how do we compare these two strings? Well, we have to compare character by character, meaning first we compare this character, we compare those, and then we compare that, and then that, and that, and that each time we compare if the characters are not equal so a and t is not equal then we need to sum one right and if it's not equal then we sum one if it's not equal we sum one and if they are equal we ignore so here the hemming distance is three so that's what you have to do for assignment one. Okay, and then we jump to the second part of the assignment. And let's look at it. Let's make this larger here. So DNA uh, symbols A and T are complements of each other, S, R, C, and G. Okay, the reverse complement of a string is the string formed by reversing the symbols of S and then taking the complement of each symbol. For example, uh, the reverse complement of GTCA is TGAC, meaning wherever it will find A, we replace it with T. It will find T, we replace it with A. It will find C, we replace it with G. And if we find G, we replace it with C, okay? But uh, let's try to understand this uh, step by step. So we go here and uh, let's take uh, the values that are given to us here. So uh, we go here. I guess let me copy this link. Copy. Let me open it up. Let it copy it. Let me highlight it. Control C. Control V, and we have this value here. So let's copy this value and then we'll see how we can handle this problem. So we go here and we have that value. Okay, uh, let me make it larger. Okay, so that's the value we have. So the instructions are telling us the string formed by reversing the symbols of this. Okay, so we simply reverse this. So to reverse it, we have to loop in reverse, right? So then this string would become T, G, G, C, 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 and then a, 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 right? So reverse string. You may be asking, well, how do I reverse a string? Well, you can loop in reverse, right? So it's loop starting from T and go all the way to A. And uh, so maybe you create a new string in your method, right? Like a new string and set it to nothing. And then as, as you are uh, looping, 
So as you're reversing the string and you're looping in reverse, then uh, you can append to, to this string, right? And uh, you can use maybe concatenation, right? So you could go like new string plus equal and then the current reverse string, right? So the current uh, reverse string character. Now that I leave up to you how to get, but that's that's how you would reverse the string. After you reverse the string, right? So so first you reverse the string, then you need to find the complement. Okay, so meaning we have to replace T with A. Right, so we go back uh, A with T or T with A and C with G or G with C. Okay, so we're like okay. So we have, uh, we're looking at that. So we have T, so we have A, and then we have uh, C, and we have uh, C, and then we have G, G, and then we have uh, T. Actually, G, and then T, 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 right? So. And that's <coughs> the complement. But uh, we compare it to the sample we got up here. So we have uh, A, C, C, G, 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 T, 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 T. So let's see. A, C, C, G, 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 T, 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 T. Okay, so now we know how to get the complement. The question is, uh, with code, uh, what it, how did we uh, process this, right? So we looped through this string. So we looped through this string, looped through it, and then if you build a new string. You build a new string from this string, right? So you have to loop through this string and then if you find the t then uh, you add you plus equal right so new oops let me uh, uh assume uh, we name the string str1 so then uh, you would say plus equal uh, t uh, of course you would need some condition here to see if uh, you find an A, right? Or if you find the T, or if you find the C and a G, and this is a table, right? So if you find the T, then A. If you find an A, then T. If you find the C, then G. And if you find the G, then C. So have this piece again, right? So so uh, let's copy. What is it? Uh, a. So we have A. Uh, actually, let me, let me go back. We have a uh, reverse, right? The reverse string. So T G G. So we have uh, T G G C C C A A A A. I think that's the character, right? So yeah. So that's reverse. So then, what I'm saying is loop through this string, right? Uh, but before the loop, create a new string. Say like uh, string one equals to a blank to blank, right? Uh, actually, no spaces. Just the quotes very close to each other with no space in between, no space there. So as you're looping, then you say if t, right? So if t, if t then uh, str plus equal a and then uh, lf right so then lf right uh, you get the syntax else if uh, a str one plus equal t right and then you do the same thing for G and C, if G, if C, right? So something like this, and uh, then make sure that you return 
string one. Okay, so that's how you would tackle this assignment. Okay, thank you.